So hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is like the second, third time filming this video. I'm just, today is just not the day for trying to get lighting together and all this stuff. Then I have two different lashes on. I just, I can't get it together. But anywho, real quick, I wanted to update you guys on my natural hair. Now, I know you guys have not really seen my natural hair in probably over a year. I've been wearing Passion Twist majority of this year, but I'm wearing my natural hair for a couple of days, not too long, because I do have to go back to Passion Twist for two reasons, because I like them, and another reason is because I'm still reviewing Passion Twist hair from companies. But since I have my natural hair out, I did want to update you guys on it. So if you guys remember, I started doing natural hair related videos on my channel sometime in March of 2016. And March 2016 is when I chopped off my hair and completely went natural. I don't get any relaxers, I don't get any perms anymore. So now it is October 2019. I've been natural for almost four years. So last October, I decided to get a silk press and that silk press ended up damaging my hair. So I will leave in the description box the video that I had did when I was basically saying I got my first silk press and it damaged my hair. So you guys can check that out. But that's exactly what happened. So my hair never reverted back to curly. Once I had put water on my hair, it never reverted back. So I was like, my hair is damaged at this point. I was like, I can easily let my hair grow out and just stick with that damage, but I was like, no, no, no. So, slowly, since I've been doing Passion Twists every single month since February, I've been slowly cutting off the damaged hair. Now, I pretty much cut off the damaged hair. I know you guys, it might be hard to see, but I'll probably insert like another video in here. Much all of it, but you guys can still see like some little straight strands that I gotta go back in and clip off. So we are back with this little curly fro going on. But some of the strands are still like straight, so I do need to go back and cut that. Plus, I need to clip my ends anyways. I really haven't seen my hair that much this year, so I do need to clip my ends. And since I have not been able to work with my natural hair like I used to, I completely don't know what to do anymore. I do, but if you if you guys understand, like I got into a routine of doing my natural hair and then it was damaged. It was no longer the curls, the kinks, coils, none of that. So now I have to get back into it and see what my hair likes again. I have to see what products my hair likes. I have to see what products works for my hair. I know my hair kind of probably looks like it's dry and it is a little bit dry. So that is one thing if you are new to my channel. I do have low porosity hair. So my hair does not like to hold moisture. So now I have to find out again what can help my hair hold moisture. Now I do have some products that I used to use before my hair got damaged that I'm still going to use. But I know in the process of trying to figure out how my natural hair is working now, I know there's probably going to be some products that my hair will re completely reject. And one of them that I'm noticing so far is the Eco Styler Black Castor Oil and the Flaxseed Oil Gel. I'm starting to really see that my hair is not liking that gel anymore because for the most part, I had started using the cannabis one and the gold one. And I hadn't used the black castor oil or flaxseed oil one in a while, but lately I've noticed that my hair is not, it's not too much liking that. I'm still gonna see, I'm gonna see how it works. But right now it's giving me the I'm not working with your hair vibe, so. I'm not too disappointed with that because like I said, I was using the other two gels anyways. But yeah, so I just quickly wanted to get on here and update you guys about my natural hair. I pretty much let you guys know that I did cut off all the damaged hair now. Thank God. So I can start off on a healthy start. I'm still taking my biotin, so that's definitely still in the routine. But now I can get back to getting my natural hair more healthier, back in good condition, and finding out what my hair likes again and all of that stuff. So I know you guys, I know a lot of you that have been subscribed to me for the longest time really enjoyed when I did natural hair videos. So I will definitely get back into that. So if you guys have any suggestions, 
please let me know down below and I will definitely get those out. But I will go ahead and link my other natural hair videos down below in the description box as well in the cards wherever i can so you guys can check those out as well but that is pretty much it for this video i didn't want it to be too long just a quick check-in and let you guys know that your girl is back with the you know <sighs> with this hair um i'm really i'm i know it probably don't seem like it but i am happy that i was finally able to get rid of the damaged hair but i am pretty bummed because a lot of y'all know I was so excited when I was able to finally put my hair in a big old puff. And now I gotta start all over. But it's cool, it's cool, it's alright. We gonna get back to it. But anywho, if you are a new subscriber, welcome. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell. So you guys will not miss a new upload from yours truly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one.